If we're going to talk pinch harmonics, we first have to touch on the idea of harmonics in general. On guitar, if you're going to play a note, typically you would hold down the string to the fretboard and play the note. But all up and down the neck, there are certain areas where you wouldn't have to hold the string down to get a note to play. If you just lightly touch and play, there's lots of spots where you can get a harmonic to come through without you actually having to hold the string down. Now pinch harmonics are the same way because those harmonics repeat their way up the neck. So at 12 you start over again. So you got 12 here. And then like you got it 5, 17, 7, 19. So you're thinking, I got 12 here, right about here. I got another octave, right? Same thing with all these other ones. So am I going to sit there and play like that the whole time? Probably not. So how do I get to play them? Instead of holding the pick, maybe with a lot of it exposed on the underside of your thumb, what I like to do is kind of ride that edge, keep it so that there's just a little bit sticking out. So when I dig in, I can roll that thumb and maybe pick up some of those pinch harmonics as I'm playing. So you could play something like this, normally, without the pinch harmonic. Which sounds pretty good, right? But if you really want to dig in, you can add a pinch harmonic or two and really add some emphasis. You know, just add that little bit of flavor to it. The way I incorporate pinch harmonics into my playing is I try to keep it tasteful. As with a lot of other things, too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. Now if you're really good at pinch harmonics and you want to just play them all the time, sometimes it gets to be a little much. It's all in your face. It's all pinch harmonics all the time. And it doesn't really have any impact because it's it's at the same level the whole time. The way I like to use them is to add impact to certain notes that I'm looking to really get across. So if I'm playing something a little bluesy and I'm... That those impact notes is where I'm gonna land the pinch harmonics. Now a majority of the time I'm playing it's in a worship band setting so my guitar will have a lot of effects on it, a lot of reverb, a lot of delay and I've found that pinch harmonics have a really nice sweet spot in there especially when we're trying to drive a song trying to build it. So you hear I got the delay on it's kind of in a U2 type of flavor. So if I'm... So that's kind of a typical riff. So if I want to add some pinch harmonic to that, here's how I would probably do it. So it's not like a full in-your-face pinch harmonic, but there's just that little bit of stank on it to emphasize that note on the turnaround. So that's how I like to use them. That was just a quick run-through of pinch harmonics. If you haven't used them before, go ahead and give them a shot. Play around with them a little bit. Could be a good way to take what you're already playing and be able to add something to it for emphasis. Be able to have another tool in the toolbox when you need it. So if you like what you saw, Go ahead and hit the like button. 
please subscribe to the channel. And also go check me out at okguitar.net. I got the blog going over there, new posts every week. So I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, guitar.